Historically, Germany has been among the top nations in table tennis. German table tennis legend Timo Boll is the most accomplished player in the history of the European Table Tennis Championships. A few decades before Boll was born, the table tennis world saw a rise of a German player who enjoyed a decade of success on the international level. His name is Eberhard Scholler. Born in 1940, Scholler trained in track and field and played football in 1950s, but eventually, he dedicated himself to table tennis. Like many accomplished players of that era, Scholler became a defensive-minded player. Athletic, incredibly patient, and almost emotionless. For his pragmatic style of play and calm manners, Scholler was nicknamed Mr. Pokerface. His first success came in 1961, when Scholler won his first medal in German national championships, as well as the singles title at the Netherlands Open. A year later, Germany was hosting the third edition of the European Championships, and the 22-year-old defender was included in the national team squad for this tournament. It turned out to be a great success for Scholler, who won a medal in every event. Silver medal in mixed doubles and bronze medals in singles, doubles and team events. The same year, the talented defender also won his first German title in singles, and for the next seven years, no one could beat him in the national championships. Ironically, throughout his career, Scholler enjoyed more success at the world championships, rather than in the continental competitions. On the world stage, there was a clear dominance of the Chinese players. It was even more impressive than it is nowadays. For example, in the 1963 World Championships, six out of eight quarterfinalists were Chinese, and the other two were Japanese players. Two years later, the situation was similar. Six Chinese internationals, one Japanese, and one Swedish player in the quarterfinals. It was almost a miracle for the European player to somehow win a medal in the singles event. At the 1965 World Championships in Ljubljana, Scholler was able to make it happen. He was the only European to make it to the quarterfinals, where he met Chinese international, Zhang Shi Lin. The game turned out to be a real spectacle. It took five sets to determine the winner. Scholler took a 2-0 lead, but Shi Lin was able to win two sets back. The decider was very tense, and Scholler got a narrow 27-25 win. In the semi-final, the German star was no match for the eventual champion Zhuang Zedong who got a comfortable 3-0 win. Nevertheless, it was a very successful tournament for Scholler. As China was going through the Cultural Revolution, the next two world championships were left, without the participation of Chinese players. Since the leading players were out, Japan took the role of a new leader, and its players, quickly won most of the medals in the singles event. At the 1967 World Championships in Stockholm, Scholler was able to repeat his previous success, and once again reach the semi-finals. Slowly, but surely, the German defender advanced toward the medals, and once again, the semi-final proved to be too challenging. Nobuhiko Hasegawa left no chances to Scholler, and won the game 3-0. For Scholler, the peak of his career was yet to come. 1969. Munich, Germany. Once again, an opportunity to play in a major tournament, in front of the home crowd. He wasn't among the top-ranked players before the tournament, but as the singles event began, Scholler proved his qualities once again. The path to the final was tough. It took five sets to overcome the Soviet star, Anatoly Amelin, in the round of 16. Quarterfinal matchup against Yaroslav Stanik took four sets to determine the winner, and the semi-finals, once again, presented a five-set showdown between Scholler and Japanese player, Tokyo Tosaka. The German won 3-2, and for the first time in history, a German player made it to the final of the World Championships. Scholler had the home crowd behind him, and his opponent, Shigeo Ito, had a tough time against the patient German in the first two sets. Scholler had a confident 2-0 lead, and the third set was also going well. Toward the end of it, Ito began to play more aggressively, since he had nothing to lose anymore, and such an approach worked well. Japanese narrowly won the third set 21-19, and now the psychological advantage was on his side. Scholler could not recover, and the next two sets were confidently won by Ito. 
The dream journey was over, and Scholler ended the tournament with two silver medals. Another one, was won in the team event. After the 1969 success, Scholler won a few more bronze medals at the major tournaments. He continued to play internationally until 1973. Scholler continued performing on the national level, and adding accolades to his name. In the German Bundesliga, Scholler won 12 titles during his career. On the professional circuit, he won 14 singles and 6 doubles titles. Up to this day, Scholler remains the most accomplished German player at the World Championships, in the singles event, with one silver and two bronze medals. Timo Boll has managed to win two bronze medals, and Dmitry Ocharov has never reached the semi-final stage of this tournament. Scholler set a great foundation for the upcoming generations of German players and their success at the major tournaments. He was truly the first German table tennis star on the international level.